The game day preview said, said it best. Two very similar teams. When you have two very similar teams, heart and desire wins out. Fight wins out. The battle in you wins out. Don't leave this arena today with them out battling you. The first team that adjusts to the atmosphere of being in a big arena, being at Mohegan Sun, doesn't try to get out of their element and do stuff that we don't do. The first team that does that is going to win this game, okay? Right here, this has got to be magical for you guys, man. You're playing on a court where professional basketball players play, man. It don't matter where we're at. At the court, at Mohegan Sun, or at St. Bernard's, okay? Come on, let's get after it today. Hey, remember when you were a freshman. Think about it. Think about now. Amazing or what? DeAndre Williams, a little dipsy do for two. Uh, the little guy takes it in with the big. It's a screen for Francois. Williams, floater in the lane. Beautiful. Nicely done by D. Will. Oh, he can turn the corner with the best of them. DeAndre Williams is off to show off the goods tonight. Oh, DeAndre Williams has found his way around the basket third time. Beautiful move. Jumping every pass and lane. Look at the hands by Max Lee. Up ahead, Williams ahead of everybody. The left-handed scoop. Hey, you guys aren't getting back on defense. I don't know what it is, but you're jogging back on defense. Keep getting back in transition. One shot, then run, all right? Let's go. Perilla straight away three. In and out, that ball will just not drop for the Bears. We're in trouble if we can't get a shot to go down soon. Man, right now, Coach Luzzi's got to think he's going to have a lid on it. Oh, beautiful look, Williams to Max Lee, and the reverse layup is good, as pretty as it comes. Williams pulls up for three. Got it. DeAndre Williams, right in Scott's grill. Williams drives on Scott, hangs in the air, and finishes. DeAndre Williams is putting on a show tonight. Checo, he drives, kicks. Lee for three. Good. Ah, uh, the senior, the rise up, the knock down, the delivery, and Stonington's gonna talk things over. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, we gotta get a couple stops here now. All right, we don't need it to get any further. We gotta chip. Hey, we gotta chip away a little bit. We can't get 15 points in one possession. Gorilla with the steal, out in front of everyone. Big basket off the steal by R.J. Perilla. Beltran for launch three. Good. Three for number three. Williams right by Perilla. Pulls up and buries it. DeAndre Williams is on fire. A showtime for the senior. 15 points, bringing his A game tonight. We shot the ball really well that half, okay? They didn't. The outside shot's not falling right now, but guys, tides can turn, right? I mean, I, I would find it hard to believe that they're gonna stay on the roll that they're on shooting the ball. So if we catch fire a little bit, right? We take it from a, uh, what is it, a 19-point uh, game down to nine, then we're good. We ain't playing this like it's a 19-point game, damn it, all right? We're trying to win three-peat, okay? They're, yo, listen, their coach is cussing them out right now. They're going to come out with more energy and more intensity, okay? We got to exceed that, though. This game is far from over, boys, but if you come out and let them go on a 7-0 run, we have to call a timeout, then it could be over. I mean... The first couple minutes of this half are absolutely imperative that we take it to them a little bit. Guys, remember we always talk about it. First four minutes in the third quarter, right, is the most important. They're in there celebrating, I'm sure, thinking they already won. But I got to see more fire in your eyes right now. Can I see some fire and some energy? Gorilla beats Lee to the bat ball, and he's going to get two free throws instead. Listen to me, listen to me, just stop. Listen to me. Don't put yourself in that predicament because you reach there, then he spins, and then you're trying to recuperate. Just be solid. You already know you got two. Can't afford to do that. Drives baseline, hangs in the air. There it is, right on cue. Yeah, well, inside, outside basketball that time. Morrison gave up the pearl. He took to baseline, took his man off the dribble, and Max Lee got himself to the rim, an easy bucket. We're one basket away from making this a freaking decent game. 
You guys are giving in to what they're trying to do right now. There's no energy to what we're doing. There's no effort to what we're doing. We're stagnant. We're standing around. We're watching plays happen. Beltran wide open, three short, but Avery goes up high, and then Fidrich hammers him, which is the only thing the little guy could do, yeah. jump on his back. Get a step ladder and get on top of number 41. I love it. See how fit he goes and fights that kid? I wish he was six feet tall. He'd get every rebound. Scott up ahead. Carrilla with the finish running the floor. I got to tell you guys something. Look at me. You just gave up 10 points in that quarter, and you gave up at least eight offensive rebounds, which is almost impossible to do. That's how good you can defend when you guys decide you want to defend. Carrilla pulls up baseline. Oh, RJ, nothing but the bottom of the net. Checo, right back from Lee, in the air. Basket is good, and the foul. And one! All five foot seven of Frankie Pacheco is going to the line. Perilla drives, hangs, and scores. There's the RJ Perilla that we saw in game one. There's a cutting Perilla on a beautiful look from Geary. How about the look from Geary? RJ Perilla with 13 points all here in the second half, Casey. Beltran, he'll float in the lane, can't knock it down, gets his own rebound, and finishes it. They can't score. They can only score on putbacks. They're out hustling them. Wall pushing it up ahead. Perilla spins. Sidestep, and we're going to get an offensive foul. Charge! Yes! Terrible! Terrible! He's had it out for me for the, from the day I started coaching. Perilla from the baseline, can't no knock fouls. it down. No fouls. And I think now John Love is going to say, no yep. Beltran the other way, and he will get fouled because he went to go score the basket. That's got to be a flagrant. I'm just saying. The, kid, the game's over. The kid tries to turn the corner and get a lift. My guy fouls him hard. Nothing wrong with that. St. Bernard Saints are your three-time Division II champions of the ECC. Congratulations, Mark Jones and the Saints. Thank you. Hey, kid, you won this game. You're a hell of a player. Thank you, All you, kid. Thank you. Good Congratulations, good coach. Good yep. job. Good job. Good job. So hopefully we'll see each other again. Who knows? It'd be funny yeah. to be here again. Sometimes when you lose a game like this, you actually end off better because you get a little more mad, a little more excited for what's to come. Lucky for us, we got a lot more to come. We got a lot more excitement to come. This season is far, far from over. Okay, we came up short here tonight. Would have been amazing to be out there celebrating and getting a trophy. But guess what? It didn't happen. So now what do we do? Hang our heads? Season over? No way. Tomorrow we start fresh. Presenting the tournament trophy to head coach, Mr. Mark Jones. I'm proud of you. It's hard to say you're proud of a team after a big loss. You came out and you won the second half, okay? So again, St. Bees, each of us won one game, each of us won one half. We can only hope and pray that we get them again. We can only hope and pray that we get them again.